There are two main types of tie with which viewers of this channel are likely to be familiar. Uh, the first is this sort. Uh, in Britain they don't really have a name, I call them the dangly ones. I think uh, Americans might call these neckties, which is a bit of a strange name I think because that suggests that other ties are not for the neck. But uh, anyway, uh, this sort. And uh, then there's the bow tie. And uh, some people, when I did a video recently about knots, asked me would I do a video about how to tie a tie, uh, particularly a bow tie. And uh, so this video. Now, um, I do know how to tie uh, this sort of tie, but I'm not going to um, produce a video on it because this is the more common type of tie that most people know how to tie anyway. And my main piece of advice uh, with this sort of tie is don't! Don't do it! What are you thinking? I mean, these are just stupid! There's never been a time in my life when I thought that these did not look amazingly stupid and awkward. It's a big floppy bit of cloth hanging down your front from your neck. And when, when the, you've seen the action movies, haven't you? When, when, when the, with, the, with the bad guys with the, with the curly bit of wire that goes into one ear and the dark glasses running around in their black suits and so forth, and their ties are always flapping this way and that and, and so forth, looking incredibly stupid. You've got a bit of just got a bit of cloth hanging from your neck that flaps around. It, it looks completely stupid. It's as stupid as, as those, those dresses that women used to wear that went sideways and they, they had to go through do doors sideways because they were so wide, or, or ruffs. And we look at ruffs today and we think, what were they thinking? Just in a hundred years time, people are going to be looking back. In fact, <laughs> no, in, in much more uh, soon than that. People are going to be looking back at um, photographs of themselves when they were a young man where their trousers were quite clearly falling down and thinking, what was I thinking? That's such a stupid look. Well, this is an incredibly stupid look. It's also it's unhygienic. These have been banned in British hospitals because people tend not to wash ties very often and they dangle down. So as you, you examine this patient, you get a bit of contamination from them and then you go over and examine this patient and you cross-contaminate again. And they're famous for dipping in soup. And when have you ever looked at a guy and thought, wow, that's a great tie. I wish, you know, he must be a great guy with a tie like that. I wish I had a tie like that. That looks really cool. I suspect the answer is never. These are awful. And I think aliens looking down on this planet might misinterpret these ties quite badly because they might think, ah, they seem to be worn by the richer, higher status men. This must be a very alpha thing to wear because they're the, often the, the gaudiest, most brightly coloured thing that a man is wearing. And um, it's a big handle, a big look at me handle, red glowing pull me if you dare handle on the front of their throat. Because these creatures, these humans, have um, a breathing pipe that goes through here and it's very vulnerable from the front. And what they do, these alpha males, is they tie a slip knot around the front of their throat and walk around with this saying, oh yeah, I'm so alpha that I can walk around with this. You reckon you're hard enough? Go on, go on if you think you're hard enough. Pull the tie, tight that slip knot onto my throat. You're just offering, you're offering an enemy a very easy way to disable and perhaps even kill you. And people do every year get killed by these things. They get them, you know, uh, caught in doors of moving vehicles and they, they get them caught in lathes and so forth and they die. Don't die of stupidity. Don't die because you're wearing one of these things. On the other hand, these, I dropped it, uh, bow ties are considerably less stupid. I mean, it's still a tie. It's not really a necessary part of clothing, but if you are going to wear a tie, wear one of these. They're enormously more practical. Um, I um, bought my first bow tie not very many years ago, and I was an instant convert, and I have never worn the dangly sort since, because bow ties are just superior in every way. Um, now, they are known for being a little bit tricky to tie. Uh, actually, they're not that tricky. It takes a little bit of practice, but you soon get the hang of it. Um, and if you are going to use a bow tie, don't get a ready-made one that's you know, already in a bow. Uh, people can tell. Um, if you've got a real bow tie, um, you get more points from the ladies because they're, they're more impressed by that. And the queen, I am reliably informed, can spot a ready-tied fake bow tie from, from 30 yards and she doesn't like them at all. So just in case you, you, know, you meet the queen, you wouldn't want to be wearing the wrong sort of bow tie. So get one of these. Not only uh, does it look uh, better when it's on, it's got a little bit more character and people who know about bow ties will spot it as a real thing. Uh, but also, um, towards the end of the evening, you can, you can wear it like this. And uh, it, you know, it gives you the James Bond look. 
uh, you know, later on. So it's, you know, it gives you a second attention and you know, maybe you can you get a nice young lady to, to, to pull it open for you. Anyway, so how do you tie a bow tie? Right. Well, first thing you do is adjust the camera because I can see that you can't actually see, <laughs> uh, see enough. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, now you can see better. So I've got it round my neck and dangling down. So I've got one end a little bit lower than the other. Perhaps the point of this one is somewhere around the middle of that, uh, that bit there. Okay, and uh, that's our starting position. Then uh, the longer of the two goes over the top, around and up, and then you should tighten it a bit. Okay, and uh, because it has to make that journey, that's why it needed to be a little bit longer. Now, uh, you need to keep this one out of the way. Some people put it in their mouth, that can work, but I usually find that's unnecessary. Uh, the rear part is going to become now the front. So this is, this is the front of the tie here, and I create the front just by doing that. So I just bring this up here like that, and that becomes the front. This then comes down over the front like that. So this bit that was up here comes over, and that's the bit that's going to show uh, in the middle at the front. Now, here's the important thing. My thumb, I keep in that little hole there so that I can bring this round the back and I can follow it through that hole there that's been kept open by my thumb and then I can pull it through. Now the first time you want to tie one of these you should do it in front of a mirror. Uh, after a while you get better at it and you can do it blind. Now tightening the bow tie, um, you've got at each end you've got a single thickness and a double thickness. Single thickness and double thickness. So the double thickness is at the front on one side and at the back on the other. You gra grab the double thicknesses and you pull and that tightens the tie but it may be a bit skew with so you then have to pull the single thicknesses through to try to make it more bow shaped. You may have to do this a few times. Now one of the nice things about a bow tie is that if some villain grabs it and tightens it, either if they pull it one way it tightens onto itself and so it just becomes more obstinately a bow or if they pull it the other way it comes undone. It will not tighten onto your throat like the dangly dangerous sort will. These you see that's why James Bond probably wears one of these when he goes gambling in those casinos because he knows that someone might grab him by the tie. Ha ha! But if he's wearing one of these ha ha! Those villains they will get nowhere. So uh, how have I done? Actually that's not bad. I can see myself in the monitor and uh, that's turned out reasonably well. And then uh, you can do that. And of course the bow tie uh, is quite at home with uh, wing collars and coll uh, different collars shirts. You don't have to have this, um, this fold down pointy type, which again doesn't have any particular collar. The standard shirt collar these days, you know, the sort that I don't generally wear because I think they're just, I just don't like them very much. Anyway, so there you go. So there's how to tie a bow tie and how to untie one. You do that and then they just fall apart. Peasy! Did